Okay, y'all, the real Kanye West is back from hiding and he's back at it again. And he is exposing it all. The crazy thing about this video is you would think that this is an interview, but it's not. He was being recorded without his permission this whole time. I have to stress this video strictly for entertainment purposes only. Roll it. The LV show. These niggas is colonizers, nigga. The French own 80% of the banks in Africa, nigga. That's why I just met with MBS, nigga, head of Saudi. Nigga, we don't have to bow to this shit, nigga. We, okay, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world. 50% of our deaths is abortion. 25% of us go to prison. Raise one hand if you don't know one nigga in prison, one nigga got locked up, and one nigga poor. Wait, okay. raise your hand if you don't know you don't know one person got abortion. Now, now I'll tell you, now I'll tell you, if it was in a Jewish mother on Friday with no fucking everybody raised their hands. So wait, 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 wait a second. But who got but wait, wait, wait a second. Who make the hospitals though? Who who got the hospitals? These are Zionists, nigga. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Third party. Sponsor that, nigga. Bring the sponsorships to that. Cause there's gonna be some niggas that feel exactly like me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm seven. I don't give a fuck about life or death. I, I get visitation with my kids. I ain't gonna say so. No. Them niggas walk around like look like soccer players. They don't even fucking know. They don't even know they got the dad, the kid. MCV come play one on nobody. They still feel me, but they trying to program them. The head of Louis Vuitton, Bernard Arnault, fuck you. Alexander Arnault, fuck you. Francois Pino, fuck you. Dimna, fuck you. Fuck Balenciaga. Uh, Fuck Cedric. Buy the easy pods. Buy the easy pods. Fuck Gap. Fuck Gap. And fuck Adidas. Nigga. All you niggas is like fucking still wearing Adidas. Nigga. Don't say me shit. I'm the, nigga, I'm by myself in this motherfucking room, nigga. Everybody shut the fuck up. Hey, shut the fuck up. Let me tell you something right now. Just the fact that you ain't listening to me. It's, it's it. Ain't none of y'all niggas with me. I'm by my fucking self. Cause ain't none of y'all niggas stand up for me. Ain't nobody you stop. God, it's shut the, 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 the shut up. up. Be quiet before you get exiled. Like that's what I'm saying is nobody with me. Everybody here, half the motherfuckers on a check. Half the motherfuckers just here, like, ha ha, laughing at jokes, laughing at the raps and shit. Then I made these beats in my mama's basement. I drew these motherfucking shoes since I was in seventh grade, nigga. Cause when I asked nigga step up, now one nigga stepped up. Now one nigga stepped up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous niggas, Mav Carter, sold me out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody fucking said y'all saw me and see my kids. All y'all rich niggas got y'all kids in that Zion school. Fuck Sierra Canyon. My, my daughter ripped up the motherfucking couches in the house to be able to be with me right now. Y'all don't know what's going on, for real. Why y'all TikTokin' and all that shit? Y'all put up with all that shit. I don't give a fuck, nigga, I'm in Pop. I'm in Vegas, like Pop. My daughter had the Tupac fucking T-shirt. So I'm saying, witness this shit. Visit this shit. But I don't believe in nobody but me, nigga. I'm looking for y'all, I gotta say we with you. You're not with me. No one's with me because no one's really with me. But it's just God. me and God. That's what I'm saying. And I'm still alive. Let's go. And, he's and I'm still alive. Still alive. Let's go. Hey, you ain't post. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't post. When I tested my kids, y'all ain't post. Y'all ain't stopped the Adidas shit. Y'all niggas let Adidas crash the richest nigga all time. Y'all know I did. Adidas was begging. Wait a second. Wait a second. I put up one tweet. And then Ari Emanuel put, oh, we got to drop this nigga. And all niggas just watch. The only nigga that had the Trump hat. The only nigga that went and got them billions. The only nigga that's breaking through all kinds of ideas and fashion. I've been called a faggot so many times for tight jeans. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got niggas from Chicago that I take care of that still trying to sell me. Trying to say I can't go to the motherfucking GD. Nigga, y'all been way bigger folks than you, nigga. You niggas don't take care right of me. Right now, your thing is why, between who, you and God. Who you, who you, who you, set up, who you think, no, hold on, hold on. Who you think the old man called? You. When we, put, when we put Drake on, we put, put Drake on stage, who the old man called? You. You know what I'm saying? Because God put you in position. Nigga, just because I had a car, nigga. Fuck everybody, nigga. You're the biggest vessel. That's what I'm trying to say to you niggas right vessel. fucking now, nigga. Vessel. This is what y'all been waiting for. Drake, this is what you been waiting for. Jay-Z, this is what you been waiting for. Cam, this is what you have been waiting for. All you niggas, look, let me tell you something. This is the way the world works. God is Here. using him be right now. Okay, be quiet for a second. Let's for a second. <laughs> I love you, Bo. Okay. No, no, you got it. Get up. Hey, sorry. Come down, please. God, God runs the world. Then under that, you got thousands.
thousand year old families, Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican, the Pope. Under that, you have the financial groups that control all your shit. The Black Rock, Rock, Rock Vanguard. After that, you have Putin. You have Trump. You have all this shit. And after that, you got what all this shit is? Entertainment. Hollywood. Take that. Run that back. Run in the schools. I'm going to give y'all one last thing before I go. When, when, when I first put the tweet up, I was dealing with a divorce lawyer. And I explained, I explained to the lawyer what my issue was. And his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. A nigga I knew said I couldn't have an opinion or I wouldn't see my kids. Y'all know who y'all fucking playing with? This is a vessel of God. He gonna burn all your shit down. I swear. I knew these niggas was trying to make surviving yay, surviving this way. That's why I sent it up while I was still in the high schools. Bill Cosby couldn't do shit by the time they got him. R. Kelly couldn't do shit by the time they got him. That's why I had to send it up. Because the same it's niggas the that made him rich, the same niggas doing the documentary. And fuck Cootie, fuck you, because everybody saw that third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. Me selling opioids. I'm not even bipolar and I have signs of autism for the accident. They're going to hit me with the fucking medication, have us selling opioids for them. They made me the face of bipolar. Okay, nigga, big farmer, where are my royalties, nigga? Why the fucking drugs you done sold off of the idea of yay being bipolar? Don't say shit right now. Yeah. That look in his eyes tells me that he is out of the sunken place and that is the real Kanye West speaking. Because hot ah, damn y'all, I mean, where do we start? We've never heard so much truth. We knew it was only a matter of time before they keep him down, y'all. Do y'all see what's going on? The world is going crazy. Weather anomalies going everywhere. Respiratory illnesses. Kanye West is out speaking truth. What is next to come, y'all? What is next to come? Let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below. Like, share, and follow for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace in.